Hello and welcome to Carmen Miller's Talk of the Town Carolinas. I'm your host, Patty Mercer, here with Carmen Miller and Janice Sweeney, and also Scott Patterson with the Foundation for Fort Mill Schools. We're talking about scholarships. So the Foundation for Fort Mill Schools, uh, what are you guys, what are you all about? Well, what we're all about is we're about helping just improve and enhance the educational experience here in Fort Mill for our kids, and not only for our kids, but for teachers. And um, you know, it's just great to be a part of such a, a great foundation that we can do that. You really, as a foundation, step up and help fill the gap where the need is. Absolutely. You know, with the growth, certainly there's challenges that come along with that. And as always, as we always talk about, is the funding. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, the, the unfortunate thing is, you know, teachers, we can't give the teachers or the district can't give the teachers everything that they need in the classroom. Right. They have a lot. But we're there to kind of fill that gap, like you said, and kind of give them that little extra that they need and which, you know, just helps our kids, you know, all the way through. And what I love seeing is not only are you achieving so many things that are helpful within the classroom, you continue to give back in continuing education for the teachers. Yep. And you also, in terms of scholarships, mm -hmm. have quite an impressive list of opportunities for students to qualify for. We do. We have uh, around 13 scholarships and, uh, you know, another one about to come on board, which you know, we'll discuss about a little bit later. Um, and it's just a great way to give kids another little extra boost, a little help, you know, in paying and uh, doing tuition uh, for them when they take that next step. But today is a very special day as well to continue the legacy of a scholarship to honor a loved one. Absolutely. And so, you know, here today with uh, Carmen Miller Realty, and Carmen is, uh, she's setting up a, a new scholarship. So, you know, we're adding a scholarship into our, in our fold. And um, it's the Growing Children Scholarship. And uh, just really excited that we're, you know, going to be able to offer that through the foundation. I'm very excited to have Carmen on board. And, uh, you know, it's just a very special, special scholarship. But I know it is to her and it is to us as well. Carmen Miller, it's so good to be here today to Thank learn you. about the scholarship and what you're doing to help students within Fort Mill School District. And Janice, your last name? Swaney. Swaney. Mm -hmm. And you are here today also to celebrate in such a special occasion. Yes, it is a special occasion for us. I'm with Keller Williams Realty and the operating principal there, and I'm here to help Carmen celebrate all that she's giving to the community. Well, one thing about it, this is just one of a very long list of ways that you give back, Carmen. Um, this scholarship, though, is really, really special to your heart. Tell us about why and where the idea to do something like this came from. Um, this is special because it's my mom's legacy. Yes. Um, oh gosh. <laughs> and, and, and that, what a beautiful way to give back and to keep your mother's memory, her, her just um, beauty in the way that she touched students alive. My mom was um, dedicated to helping children grow. She was dedicated to teaching. She was dedicated to giving. And um, Today's her birthday, so oh my gosh. It's, it's even more amazing that we're yes. able to do this. Um, so happy birthday, yes. Susanna, <laughs> Zubietta. That's right. Um, so the fact that this community has allowed uh, me to grow with it, has allowed me to to build a business, to, to grow um, within our community, and now to have the ability to give it back yes. and to help um, other others grow and to, to um, foster the education process and to grow those those kids so that they can go to college and and help them along with that it's fantastic and it's something that she would have been very proud of I know I know because she was an educator yes. and loved kids loved to see them thrive um, and how beautiful to have this personal connection and also in a way that gives back to our community um, overall and this is very closely related to the vision of Keller Williams it certainly is this is one of the reasons that Carmen is such a special part of our team. Um, she has always given back. Um, at Keller Williams, one of the things that we believe in is having careers worth building, businesses worth owning, lives worth living, experiences worth having, and legacies worth living. And Carmen has done that in so many ways here in the community and this is just one more way that she's able to do that and the legacy that she's leaving 
all about her mom wrapped up within all the things that her mom has always done is just so special. Your daughter Sarah is studying to be a teacher. She is. She's graduating this December. This December. Um, she just got her first job offer. Oh my! So. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> <laughs> so um, yes, yeah, she is carrying on my mom's passion, and um, I'm so very proud of her. Um, it's um, when we moved here, uh, my mom was diagnosed with lung cancer. Um, probably within a day or so of us having gotten here. And I couldn't understand and I asked why. Why would I be so far away from her mm -hmm. at a time that she went? When, you moved here when to we Tiga moved K. here to Tiga K in, in 2005. And I your was, mom was living where? In Texas. Okay, that's a long way. It is. So um, the why is being answered. Yes. Um, the why is that we are in a beautiful community. The why is that we have amazing friends. The why is that we raised our children in, in just a fantastic school district. Um, the why is that um, I am able to do this because of where I live and what the community has given to us and to give it back. Do the specifics and qualifications and the amount that you could potentially qualify for, is that different per scholarship granted? It is different. I mean, there's different. Um, there's some that are a little bit higher, and there's some that are a little bit lower, you know, from $500, but the lowest one we have is a $500 scholarship, and then we have some that go up to $2,000, you know, and a little more. The qualifications to receive your mother's scholarship, how difficult was it for you to put that into measurable um, questions and qualifications for the students? It was difficult because my mom would not have wanted it to be about just grades. Mm -hmm. And while she would have wanted it to be about um, need, she wouldn't have wanted someone that was passionate to be excluded because she didn't, they didn't have a need, financial need. So the scholarship really um, includes... That in itself is unique. It, it includes anyone that has a passion. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that I learned in a very old age is what my passion was. Mm -hmm. And I think that for someone that is younger that has a passion for teaching, has a passion for, for, for children, and has a passion for protecting them and growing them, then that's what we're looking for. Wow. We want to know what they're, that they are passionate about those mm -hmm. kids and passionate about that career. The competition for those scholarships, is it pretty steep? Um, yes, yeah, some of them are very, you know, we have uh, quite a few that will, you know, apply to some of these scholarships and, you know, I'm glad I'm not on that committee. That, I was about to say, those. tell me about the selection um, process. Yeah, so we have, you know, we have committees that, um, you know, and sometimes the folks that, uh, that, you know, they're named after them, the scholarships, they have a say in it, but they can't pick the person. But, you know, we have a committee, you know, through the foundation and I... So glad I'm not on there because uh, you know there's some there's some great kids we have in our school oh, yeah. district and I mean it's kind of hard to pick one to be honest right. with you. So to find out the scholarships, the requirements to be considered for mm -hmm. the scholarship, you can go where? You can go to our website, um, foundationforportmillschools.org, and um, all the information. We, you know we're in the process of getting every all those applications updated right now. So probably by the first of January we'll be ready to rock and roll. Um, but you can certainly go there now and see all the requirements that are needed you know, for when those applications are um, updated. Well, that's it for this edition of Carmen Miller's Talk of the Town Carolinas. If you'd like to see more beautiful homes in our area, simply go to homesfortmill.com or maybe you're thinking about buying or selling your home. Remember to call Carmen Miller. Live where you love and love where you live. Until next time, this is Patty Mercer. Bye-bye.